Welcome back to Eden Talk, everybody. We have another special episode. My name is Yusra. Um, before we get going, you guys, my co-host is missing today. He's in Vegas. Shout out to Gilbert. I'm sad that he can't be here, but he's missing one hell of a fucking episode. Sorry, I don't know if I could cuss or not. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> today, we got hype in the building, you guys. This is the latest and greatest in Minneapolis here in Uptown. I'm going to let these boys introduce themselves. Let's start with you. How you doing, Issa? Um, thank you for having us. My name is AK. Uh, one member of the hype. Um, there's four of us. Uh, yep. Who's Yasser? I'm Yasser, as you can see. Yo, what up? <laughs> Glad to be back. My name is Kirby, uh, president of the hype. Yes. My name is RF, uh, newest member of the hype. Yeah, so you guys, these are my guys. Um, Kirby, you're back again. Oh, he back, was here you know at another Shout episode Central, with Central, you know. You know yeah, so yeah. Um, hey, you two for two right now. Two I know for, that's yeah. crazy. He's, the, I think you're yeah. the first person to come back okay. so fast, like in yeah. a seat yeah. in one season. So um, that's crazy. Me and Adif, we go way back. It's my childhood buddy. We've known each other since high school. Um, so it's great <laughs> to see you doing big things. Um, okay, let's just get into it, you guys. What is hype? What does it stand for? Why should everybody be so excited about this? Go ahead, okay. You you know, came up with go ahead. Yeah, tell them. You came yeah, up with the name. Exactly. Okay, so, that would have been. That was gonna be my question. Who yeah. came up with the name? AK, so AK, 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 AK came up with the name. Before we start giving credit, man. <laughs> okay. It's it's all of us. Humble. You know what I'm saying? So you're humble. We gotta keep it humble. You're you gotta humble. Keep it. You okay. Gotta keep humble. But hype stands for uh, help your people eat. Okay. So that's the whole premise of you know what we're trying to do. We want to feed people, you know what I mean, the Jews. less fortunate, we want to feed them drip, you know what I'm saying, we yeah. want to put people on to a whole bunch of shit, so, okay. you know, if we can, if we can help people while we're doing what we love, mm -hmm. then, you know, we're doing our job, so. I love that, yeah. I love that, and that's what we're all about, and that's just, it's just the fact that the community that you guys are in right now, where this is stationed, I think that's yeah. a staple thing yeah. for it, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Definitely community oriented. Yeah, that's so, the, the how do you, so, you know, obviously, there's a couple different, you know, shoe retailers around here. So what makes you guys different? I mean, number one, you say to the fact that you guys are very community oriented, but I want to know why the hell should people come to Hype before looking anywhere else? Take it away, guys. <laughs> Truly and honestly, I think the hype, like I'm touching back what he said too, it's like, for us, it's not only in the fact that we're like, obviously trying to sell sneakers and make a living for ourselves, but all of us here has been in fashion, was interested in, in sneakers. Mm -hmm. So you know how many other people out there, like young teenage high school, you know, looking at us like, oh shoot, like those are some fresh kids. Mm -hmm. So it's like, for us, it was like, we're different because we're also trying to give like a better pricing. We're trying to give um, different styles. Like everybody here has came from a different demographic. So yeah. it's like, we like bring a different twist to everything. So yeah. for us, I feel like it's just, nice. you'll, you'll get the aesthetic of the place. The everything is just different from what we yeah. have uh, going on in the city. And also the other sneaker shops are dope too. Like, we trying to work with them, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, just go with them, so. Mm -hmm. Help your people eat, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Shout mm -hmm. out to everybody that's doing it, though. Yeah. yeah. This Absolutely. is not easy, Yeah, bro. It's not an easy thing to do. Yeah. yeah. And we're gonna get into that and the shoes and everything like that. So you kind of brought up my next question here. I want to know, I mean, there's four of you guys. Yep. So each of you guys bring something to the table. I want to know, and you can speak for someone else, or you can speak for yourselves. What do each of you guys bring to the table to make Hype Alive today? I can tell you what I bring, you know. I'm just trying to to push the the brand forward in any way that I can. So mm -hmm. whether that be social media, mm -hmm. whether that be you know just... the man behind the camera. <laughs> yeah. Really, though. hey, yeah, no, the he content really creator. does his thing on social yeah. media. Like. Yeah, I see. You know, he's TikTok <laughs> famous. You guys, he's going viral, viral right now. Yeah. 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 Hey, on the you page, follow me. <laughs> follow the hype on TikTok, uh, you guys. Uh, hey, forget me. Follow the hype. That's yeah. a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. So. But, you know, so, yeah. we're just content. trying to create content. So I, I can say that I create content, mm -hmm. content, and you know, once we start doing YouTube and all mm -hmm. bunch of shit like that, I think that you know people will get to see my personality and the rest of us. That'll well. be dope. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about you, Yasa? What do you bring as your and what's your demographics? Also, kind of talk yeah. about your backgrounds too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, 
we all know AK's from Virginia. He's from the East Coast. So, okay. Okay. Rough Rough record. Record. Day, day, you know, me, me being from the Midwest, um, I was like born here. University. <laughs> get you, get you. Alumni, come on. Um, nah, me being from the Midwest, like, yeah. we have just a different spice to it. So, like, yeah. for me, I was big on, like, super, like, a lot of people always look at me and I'm like, oh, you so hype. But, like, truly and honestly, like, I just rock everything. Like, today, mm-hmm. I got daily paper. Somali own brand, you know what yeah. I mean? Like I rock with like yeah. certain brands that have a meaning to like it, you that. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like when it comes to the brand or the clothing, the gear that we have, like I feel like that's my expertise. Mm-hmm. Um, and then also like I lived in LA for a while, so mm-hmm. they have a different style, like bringing that twist out yeah. here as well, you know what I mean? So call, I, I say like clothing, yeah, nice. that's me. Okay, so you kind of bring a little bit of the culture from the different dynamics that yeah. you're from. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay, how about you, Kirby? Yeah, I think I bring the just the helping people eat aspect of it. Like, that's what I'm trying to do. I think right. me having a like clothing brand central, you know what I mean? I'm definitely trying to make sure that we like highlight uh, other clothing, but not just our brand. Like, um, there's people that are around us that have clothing brands, but also a lot of other dope clothing brand. Like, um, I think AK was like touching on like how he wants to bring different styles. Like, uh, one day he was like, oh, I want this brand in here. Uh, fuck it. Hose Mad, that's what it's called. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And Shout I find out, out to be, mad. yeah, mm-hmm. find out to be that they're uh, here. And then there's someone that Jeremy, he handles like their distribution or something like that. Okay. And he has his own brand, which is Hybrid Nation. So it's like, there's a lot of brands that are local. And I think um, like how we always push Central is that we want to uh, push in a tasteful way. Shout out to my partner, uh, Gerard too, you know what I mean? She's always, uh, 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 she's always- my cousin right there. Yeah, she's, she's, she's the reason how we all kind of like linked up together, you know what yeah. I mean? In a sense like that, like yeah. we all linked up because of her. And so yeah. she's always like pushing perfection on the aspect of like, we take good pictures, we take good videos that we pre- present our content in a good way. Mm-hmm. And so I think a lot of brands have good quality clothing or they have something, but sometimes it's hard to know where to start because there's so many different aspects. Exactly. And so maybe if we can get a sign in here for them, or like a little LED light yeah. that has their name. So that's why I said kind of like a quarterly thing, but we'll see how that works. Yeah. Hopefully we can get more than one brand, but you can see our space is like yeah. limited for now. So a little just pop kind of, Yeah, just kind of focusing mm-hmm. on um, the outreach and the community aspect of our, um, cause I think like we all got, when it comes to shoes, when it comes to drip, we all bring a different aspect. So I'm just gonna try to find my niche in that aspect. I love that. He's being humble. He he has plugs. Kirby is well connected. He like yeah. a lot of people in the community enjoy and like his like energy around mm-hmm. him. So it's like Hello well positive. connected, tapped in like crazy. So like yeah. for us, it's like he also I like it rubs off on all of us. Yeah, it's like all right, yo, we should be moving this way. This way. No, all right, cool. Yeah, you're right. Actually, you got a point. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's that's what's up. That's humble. important. <laughs> Out of ahead, don't, be humble, yes, don't be humble, cause don't be humble. <laughs> don't be humble. <laughs> Hey, talk your shit, bro. <laughs> I was brought on, you know, to help on uh, the business side of things. Um, just kind of bring my expertise to the table. Mm-hmm. Um, I love working with these guys. And I got into sneakers, like I'd say over the past year. And, you know, I've been thinking, you know, it would be a great business. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like the industry is just going to get bigger and bigger. And I was thinking to myself also, I would never do it without these guys. So mm-hmm. it was, That's, love. That's love, bro. That's love. Yeah, I love that. And I don't want to take away from hype, but Adif also has some amazing things of his own. Yes. So Nashville food, but you know, great chicken spot in Minnesota. Um, you three locations you guys are opening a location in rochester minnesota coming up soon right yep. um and you know we're gonna focus one day only on nashville coop eden talk is gonna come yes. there and take over for yes. sure but the man behind the chicken definitely <laughs> business minded business oriented as long as i've known him and so i think that's a really huge core aspect when yeah. something like this so like i said don't be humble because you are yeah. probably hey, for real, the like, biggest he came in and just like a bunch of stuff like clover and all this different yeah stuff that these different we never things. Heard I mean, of yeah. Uh, when you come, you'll see a nice big uh, white, you know, our sign up there, like taking care of all that stuff. And so, yeah, it's definitely like a team aspect. I think when you go into business, you're like, oh, like I can do this by myself. And then it's like people will get burnt out doing business. So yeah. I think it's uh, it's dope having the four of us, like each mm-hmm. bringing something a different aspect. No, that's, hey, that's cool. one thing these guys did not say. Yeah. Is everybody's bringing a drink. You know what I'm sauce. Everybody True. got their own yeah. sauce. Yeah. Sauce. And, you know, everybody's bringing different <laughs> energies to it too. I love like, it. I might not wear some that y'all are gonna wear, but yeah. I, already, I always know y'all are gonna wear one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't put on what Kirby likes, or I can't put on what Art of likes. Can't baby. fit it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, for a second, for none of y'all are yeah. <laughs> 130. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're working on it. He working said we're working on it. We gymed up. Lifetime. Shout out Lifetime. We're working on it. I love it. Okay, so um, real quick, go down the line. What's your ultimate favorite shoe? 
Ooh. Oh, that's a crazy question. Like in my closet or like all time favorite shoe? Something you don't even own. Right, what's I'll your go first, What's cause, your cause shoe? Go even, ahead. I go first. I think eleven for sure. I'm a big guy, and so any eleven, like any like eleven goes crazy like i wear them to the gym mm-hmm. i wore them out like i was gonna wear them today but i was like let me just bring out some of my old kd sixes one time i had 50 pair of shoes yeah stolen from me these are the only ones that survived so oh man i was like let like me wear them on a special day today you yeah know oh, that means something to my boy yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then <Thank> recently <laughs> recently i swear to you I, I bought a pair of form runners like last june or something I didn't even take them off in the winter time. No, like, I, all winter. Yeah, yeah. I wear them everywhere. You might see them. I might even take a little bit of wetness just to keep on wearing them. <laughs> we all hey, have our favorite. Summertime, we went to Mexico. Shoe. Summertime, still was wearing like, it. Yeah, they were gonna take those. Well, I last part, two pictures, foam runners, different color. No, that's what's up. Okay, yeah. how about who's next? Yeah, I'll go next. Yeah. Uh, I do not own this pair, mm-hmm. and if you own this pair, you try to give it to me for the right price. Mm-hmm. I need the Chicago ones. Okay. I need Chicago. Oh, those are tough. Hey, and oh, I heard they re-releasing too. So shout out to Doc. He told me he told me they re-releasing. So we might have to try to get that. <laughs> okay. We might have to try to get that. I love them, Chicago ones. Okay. How about Adam? How about you? I really like the Dunks, the Off White Dunks. Um, you know Virgil, what he did with those are yeah. amazing. Um, and also the the Jordan Eleven. The, I both of what you said. Uh, I agree with you. Both of them. That's what's up. How about oh, you, Yasser? Yeah. What? <laughs> All right. So like, here's Saint the problem. No, here's the way, Joe. Like, I do own a lot of Yeezys, yeah. but the thing is, Yeezys are just comfortable. Like that, I rock them. Nothing wrong like with that. Yeezys are shoe. nice. I like so. how they look too. Not yeah. Gonna, like, it's just like out of the you're box. Not, you're not yeah. I know. I know. But my all-time favorite, like, Travi ones. Yeah. The low tops. Yeah. I'll take low top Travi ones. Okay. Every colorway. I think there's only two. Yeah. Yeah. Two colorways. I think both. Yeah. All right, so since we're in the topic of shoes, um, I want to get a little bit more into depth about shoes. Like, what is the hardest pair of shoes to get your hands on these days, right now in the market and industry? Uh, anything women. <laughs> Facts. Thank you what, for saying women, that. Women don't give up their shoes, so women do not be mad at me. A hundred of y'all wear size five to seven. seven. And so it's just like, oh, we only get one, you know what I'm saying? Or but two. can we also talk about how yeah. like women's shoes kind of suck? Like I got, a, I got a friend, she got like a, I just be telling her like, give up your shoes. She got like a, over a hundred shoes. I know it like from high school. I'm like, just give some up. Women will not give up their shoes. Yeah. So. They I have, mean, they have been doing better orders. quality though. So like late uh, before I know they had like 11s, for example, that was a big thing. Like Jordan 11s were have like different, you know, material made on like yeah. the women's shoes than they would on the men's shoes. Exactly. But like, I would say in the, like, especially with the dunks, mm-hmm. the dunks, they're like quality. Yeah. I like, I like them, but because, they're so hard to get. It, no, I would say, my, so my favorite, like I was telling them, my favorite complex interview is with Billie Eilish and she, we were, she was talking a shout out to Billie Eilish. Yeah, yeah. she's got um, her Jordans. Yeah, yeah, she's a huge sneaker head, um, yeah, super crazy. huge sneaker head, but she was just talking about like how women's shoes suck and it's hard to get a hold on and the material and the quality is different. Why is that? And what is something that can overleak? Like if a woman is really into shoes, what aspects should she look for and when it comes to getting men's shoes for sneaker heads? Oh, yeah. I mean, that sucks. They definitely got to step up the quality. I think they are a little bit, too. I've noticed been like, Jordan brands been making, like, a lot of women's, but, you know, like, dunks are in. Like, you know, AK, he blows with the... He, like, now nah, I was surprised he said Jordan 1 because, like, last year we was all Jordan 1s, but I guess he's back on. Yeah. But- <laughs> hey, 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 time out, though. Said, no, no, let me finish. all the time. Man, that's the brand. Oh, right yeah. But anyways, yeah. but anyways yeah. so I think um, just knowing, like, any women's size, if you're a women's 8, you're a size and a half down, so... Most of the time, maybe buy, unless you're a big footer, mm-hmm. you'd be buying grade school. And so grade school, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's what I was going to say, grade school. Like, like yeah, yeah, if you're an eight women, you're like a 6.5. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, mm-hmm. why? A little bit of why. But to touch mm-hmm. up on, like, we're talking about women's shoes. Like, mm-hmm. that's one of our, like, focuses, though. Like, mm-hmm. we, going back to what you were saying, like, what's different yeah. about our shop. Like, I go to a lot of these other shops here in the city mm-hmm. as well. And I try shopping with them as well. Mm-hmm. And, like, if I'm shopping for somebody who, has, somebody who has smaller size. Oh, <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. But, like, you know what I mean? I'm, like, also looking around. Like, yeah. there's no women's shoes. Mm-hmm. So, like, they have a lot of good men's shoes. But, yeah. like, when it comes to women's, all you see. And then it's, like, a one variety. It's, like, all dunks. And that's a fire ass women's pair right there. Right but there. women, can, oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. women can wear men's shoes. That's a woman's shoe right there. That's, that's, that's fire though. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Nina. <laughs> that's so <laughs> soft. But yeah. No, absolutely. I love that. I agree. So, okay. So now going back to like men's shoes and everything like that, let's kind of get into the history of the sneaker game. When did it really start popping? When did it start trending? Beep, beep, beep. How, no. <laughs> 
Yeah. Like, how did this industry just start going? Because I mean, obviously, like I know, like in high school and everything, that like, middle school, like we were all into like retail shoes, you know, mm-hmm. going to Mall of America yeah. four or five a.m., mm-hmm. picking up those Nikes and those Jordans yeah. that popped up, you know. But now customs are being made. We have all, you know, we got Yeezys that have popped up and everything like that. Like, kind of, can you guys kind of explain to anyone who's watching this, like the trend of the sneaker game and why, you know, you should kind of hop on it now. All right, well, you asked a few questions, but yeah. I'm gonna answer the first one, then these guys can go for the rest. Mm-hmm. I think the sneaker game started popping for me personally. I'm from Virginia. I gotta say that in the interview. I know he said it already. <laughs> but when I was in high school, I felt like, you know, a lot of people started lining up for shoes. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I was in middle school, I really didn't see stuff like that. But mm-hmm. the the trend went, started going crazy, and people started lining up for shoes, people mm-hmm. dying over shoes. I know mm-hmm. you guys remember that. Yeah, uh, pigeons, the brushes yeah, and all that. Yeah. Pigeons. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. but. Yeah, back in high school is when I started, you know, lining up Getting for sneakers. Getting shoes, okay. Uh, mm-hmm. And, you know, we didn't have money like that back then. We yeah. might line up for a certain pair. You got to really love that pair True. to be in line for it. So. The pricing is a lot different than back then oh, and now, absolutely. too. So, yeah. you know, that's also another hey, factor. I think StockX changed a lot of things, too. Like, mm-hmm. a lot of these websites like GOAT, StockX, you yeah. know, they they started creating the price for the market. Mm-hmm. Before, it was what you felt the shoe mm-hmm. was worth. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Uh, so now that StockX is there, people come to you and be like, well, true. StockX says it's $350. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I, I think it kind of, StockX kind of messed up the game a little bit. Yeah. But so. it also kind of, I mean, it did make it, I would say, more just like when you do an e-commerce and you're opening up. Yeah. Like now anybody, a girl can be like, if I really want it, I'll get it. Yeah. You know, like for non sneakers because I see a lot of girls, especially on IG, you know, mm-hmm. tell far bag. You know, <laughs> Type yeah. joint. And so I think so it really it. Yeah. yeah. Every time. <laughs> no. <laughs> I really think I've been I've been loving sneakers since like I was I couldn't afford them. I was buying fake sneakers at Quick Copy. Yeah. If you really from St. Paul, you know. Uh, it was on university and you could buy like fake forces and I think I had like a fake pair of like all black threes that they didn't even make at the time. My man's mm-hmm. just like them is fake. So the see through joints. <laughs> so I never had like, I never had my stuff breathing in those. But I'm telling you right now, like that's why I love like I love the look of sneakers. And I think as mm-hmm. soon as I got like money of my own, like it was over. But yeah. That was like one of those bad habits of like mm-hmm. every paycheck grabbing sneakers get some and shoes. stuff like that. Yeah. But I see like you know a lot of people even though, like I think at one point in time it was like stigma like oh you wear Jordans you wear these but I think now like lifestyle is so casual like you mm-hmm. know like sweatsuits are really in. You know, like coming back to bell bottoms and baggy pants, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. So like now, like style is mixing, and so I think really like recently now it's like I've seen more girls in the last five years, you know, yeah. I mean, besides the PPP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you know what's actually crazy though? As of recently, I feel like a lot of people have been like, "Yo, I don't know shit about sneakers, mm-hmm. but I'm trying to get into the game. Like, mm-hmm. What yeah. sneakers should I start with?" Mm-hmm. And I always tell them the sneakers you should start with are like Dunks. That was gonna morning. be a question of mine. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. It's kind of a little basic, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Because you don't want people jumping to threes, fours. Yeah. And I don't know though, like, but but sometimes I'm, yeah, you you right, you right, you right. But I I feel like because. I mean, guys, speaking on my own experience, like yeah. I jumped into sneakers back when I was in high school. And for me, like my shoe was Jordans. Yeah. So like at the time, I think like that's just what was like, that was the street look. Like that was the, the fashion that was space. What you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was like, that's what I wore. But yeah. as I grew older, you know what I mean? Like, and also like I look back um, where like, Kanye and like Virgil and stuff like that. Like those guys, those guys like made street fashion a lot more cooler yeah. and fun. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. so you'll see, you know what I mean? Guys working blue collars, mm-hmm. but they have some sneakers on. Mm-hmm. It's okay to do that now. You know what I mean? So I think like for those like bigger fashion guys that like push like Virgil and stuff like that, like they were able to, you know, open up the fashion, the street fashion, uh, clothing and, and mm-hmm. street fashion wear uh, uh, better. So I just, I think it was dumb that yeah. opened it. I feel that, Adam, you said you just got in like the last year. What made you want to like hop back in the sneakers? Mm-hmm. I see Yasser, I just see Yasser buying pairs. Uh, oh, yeah. Even, yeah. Even, mm-hmm. even before the hype. Bad influence, he is. Yeah. <laughs> he would just have so many pairs and I'd just be like, I thought he was crazy at first. I'd be like, why do you have so many pairs? Yeah. yeah. You know, but I just, I don't know, they're, they're really cool. I mean, mm-hmm. Shout out to Yasser. Yeah, okay, influencer. Do you feel like having a pair of Jordans um, or just like any pair of nice shoes um, represents a certain status? Like, is it, so like when I was in high school, 
sad to say, but like somebody who had Jordans was cooler than the person who had the New Balances on, you know, yeah. like, and now, I mean, yeah. those, like you were saying, like some of those shoes are coming back, like New Balances and blah, 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 like some of those vintage crazy, stuff, you know? Yeah, they're, they're yeah it's kind of becoming right vintage. Now. Yeah. Hey, so like, hey, do you, maybe they've been popping though. I just do, I gotta say yeah. that. Yeah. What's that? Three? New balance. New balance. Let's tell you. Let's tell you. Let's tell you how many times this guy has mentioned he's from Virginia. I got from to. From the East Coast. I got to. He's really yeah, got to represent that hard for Virginia. Yeah, he's from a small town in Manassas. We were just on YouTube the other day. Manassas, shout out to them. They got dope I, I vlogs. I that's MC, man. I don't even know hey, what that is. Hey, Nita's got a little. Nita's got a little. I mean, to answer that, I think... Uh, the stigma is definitely there. Yeah. Um, but it's like, I don't know. Like, yeah, you can. Like, if I'm putting on, if I got Travis Scott's on, mm -hmm. a lot more people are stopping me and be like, oh, those are dope. Mm -hmm. But if I have some, like, regular, you know, horses or mm -hmm. some, you know, regular, like, Yeezys, mm -hmm. yeah. then no, it keep it really, it's yeah. like, for me, it's it like. It depends, right? It, it depends on how you rock it, you know? Oh, like, yeah. You shouldn't, like, you know, dictate where your, your status is in society. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you can, if somebody can rock New Balance better than somebody else rocking, mm -hmm. you know Travis Scott's, then you know shout out to the person with the New Balance. Yeah, you know, it's all about you know your style yeah. and mm -hmm. what what fits you and what you like. So mm -hmm. you shouldn't have to need to like buy something all just to you know get my status up. You know, yeah, just, I don't, get, get what you like. Yeah. And now style is wide open more than ever because exactly. like especially if you see in the birds. I'm not, I'm not even gonna call. I'm gonna call them suburban girls. <laughs> they got them dirty uh, horses? horses, and they rock out there. So I think oh. it's like wherever you at, like yeah. and, you know what I mean. Even me, like I, these is like super old. I think it's about to start talking or something. But I still like them. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like when you're what you're comfortable. Yeah, with your style is with your style. Like how you can pull it off. You know oh what yeah, I mean? I've like, seen people dress down so many different sneakers. He's a hype nice. beast, but yeah, mm -hmm. he's, he hey, yeah, you're right. Thing, but, hey, the best thing about wearing sneakers is though, you know what I'm saying? When you uh, pass another sneaker at and they're like, yup. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't even gotta say that. Mm -hmm. yeah. even, but also, even, when they're yeah. even when they're dusty, they'd be like, mm -hmm. nice. how about the foam runners? Yeah. Like, let's 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 talk Facts. about this. When the foam runners drop, all of us were never on board. We weren't on board with that. We you, know, not, you didn't even know me then. No, everybody <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was looking at foam runners like, yo, those are hideous. I'm never gonna put them on my feet. Yeah. You know how many people are rocking them now? Yeah. Different. No, mm -hmm. I think I was the first. What well, stop it. <laughs> really rocking before, you know, you, you just said hey, I was the first. Hey, I mean, hey, before Kyle. I was the first nigga in Minnesota. Really rocking them. In like, Minnesota. If you, if, you really okay. know, if you really know, I didn't really see you wearing them. I didn't really This nigga a way to resell this shit. I I'd be wearing Right, where are your sneakers, kids? Where are your sneakers? And dust your sneakers, man. <laughs> No, I love that. Okay, so let's go back into. I'm gonna kind of change the subject real quick. We'll still stay on the shoes, but let's talk about reselling. So hype, obviously, you can come in and just buy some shoes. But if somebody got a pair of shoes, can they sell it to you guys, buy it off you? And part two, answer kind of how what is reselling and how does that like, where does that fit in with hype? I mean, as far as like reselling, it's essentially we just we have to make a means for ourselves as well you mm -hmm. know uh like we're not trying to like knock anybody's heads off mm -hmm. but like what what the reselling game is so there's there's retail and there's resale yeah so like there are people who have contracts with you know nike studio Adidas, 23 phenom studio yeah. 23 phenom are contracts shout out mm -hmm. to them they have contracts with like certain bigger brands and they're obligated to sell that at retail. Mm -hmm. For us, what we would do is uh, we would go and buy them at retail, but because there's such a scarce amount of those shoes, mm -hmm. we buy out as much as we can get. Mm -hmm. And then the value of the sneaker goes up because they're sold out. Yeah. So then we would mark up the price and sell it for what we can sell it for. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and they're really hard to get at retail too. You know? Oh yeah. That's yeah. Like, we're putting the work you know, for you guys. Mm -hmm. It'll make it easier to get exclusive sneakers. Yeah. 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 Somebody's going to take them regardless. You know what I mean? Yeah. And also, it's kind of like that resale point. I mean, like, I remember, like, before I even got it, just like, shout out to Piff. Mm -hmm. I used to bring all my sneakers. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I used Yeah. I used to get, like, a sneaker or whatever. Um, and I'm like, I'm going to have it for, like, a couple of months. And then I'm like, damn, I don't even know why I bought this, why I liked it. But then I can go down there. Cause there's gonna be somebody else that likes and I can be like, oh, yo, let me trade this in. And he's like, okay, yeah, I'll give you store credit for this one. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, I really wanted that and that backpack too. Mm -hmm. So I ended up probably spending some money with him too, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it was a fact that I could, you know, go and get $300 back from something that I maybe put yeah. purchase for $190 mm -hmm. or something like that. So I think yeah. we would all win. Like, he mm -hmm. would win, I would win, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. so definitely uh, the buying and sell trade aspect. And we're, and we're really gonna focus on like more of like DS shoes, so unworn sneakers, but then, or slightly used sneakers because we feel like that's just where our market's at and like we're yeah. in uptown and so we want to present that and so mm -hmm. um but i know like um 
Urban Jungle, they're moving down the street from us right now, and they're, mm-hmm. like, vintage and yeah. heavy into new shoes, and so we're trying to, like, probably pipeline with them and, you know, uh, collab with the community and stuff like that. That's what's up. But So speaking of hype, we're going to kind of retrace back into this. So I want to kind of know what are some of the obstacles that you guys have faced getting this store open? And maybe you guys each went through different struggles, and I'm sure you guys have a common one, but just... Yeah. Um, a lot of, especially during the pandemic up until now, a lot of new businesses have been opening. Obviously, we all share different struggles and obstacles, but like within this industry, what were some of the things that you guys had to overcome? Uh, I would say truly and honestly, just like, cause we've been doing like, we had, we, had, we opened the hype about a, a little over a year ago. Mm-hmm. So like we were online based mm-hmm. for a really long time. And it, for us, it was like just taking that extra step and saying, okay, we're here, we're ready. Mm-hmm. We're, we're, we're ready for a brick and mortar. Like yeah. that was a scary part. And for me, like, especially I held off. I lived in LA for a really long time. And mm-hmm. I was like, ah, uh, I'm living this comfortable lifestyle. Well, I'm bored into work. Like, you know. Get ya! You know, I had that challenge. <laughs> no, um, Shout out Promenade, man. Stop it. No, but I was in LA for a really long time. And I was like, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable with where I'm at. Like mm-hmm. this is, a step we had I like I had told myself this is a step that I had to make yeah so like for me like I would say just taking that extra step on, yeah. on mm-hmm. getting a brick and mortar because a brick and mortar is not easy yeah it's not. And, mm-hmm. and for me I guess like just keeping it real like this is I've done I have had central and that's been more of like e-commerce slash pop-up stuff and when you're starting something from scratch like they want to know like like pitch deck and all these things like just like every like some there's so many things that everybody doesn't see beside like everyone sees is going to see the shoes mm-hmm. and they're going to see that aspect but they don't know like what it takes to get in and i don't even think it's like i wouldn't say for sudden it's like uh i would tell like anybody that's trying to get a store that's doing um anything any type of business just, like keep on going because like there's gonna be obstacles and there's gonna be times that you want to quit like there's been times where i call them like i'm done mm-hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like whatever i'm right. starting something else because i think anything that's worth it is hard you yeah. know what i mean and so i think Whatever, like the challenge of opening a business is like a lot of obstacles of things that are uncharted territory mm-hmm. that no one talks to you about. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And so it's like, I think just like being able to navigate, rely on people, you know, mm-hmm. like people to pick you up when you're down and things like that. So definitely like build a team that's going to support you and I like be that. with whatever you're with. And sometimes y'all see differently, but I think in the end, you know what I mean? Like the, we're all the reason why we're here. Even like, yeah. you know, with out of Kim, I'm like, like, he's a part of the, like a part mm-hmm. of the plan. It was like, mm-hmm. I always told him like, we need each other to do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and yeah. I don't even care. Like you, you so, could have all the money you want, you know what I mean? But to have like people that you trust and people that, you know, that you're willing to work with and do things like that, that's like priceless. So I think the hardest thing is just everything. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Man, really. Yeah, yeah, I want to touch on one thing too. Me personally, I'm not even from here, so mm-hmm. I've, I've been dreaming about doing something like this. He's from Virginia. Yeah. Where he gets? Hey, let me get some hey, let me get some <laughs> Hey, let me say, speak with all real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even from here, so mm-hmm. me finding the right people to do this with. Because mm-hmm. before I came to Minnesota, I was dreaming of opening a brick and mortar or opening mm-hmm. a, a store in general. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I've been wanting to open something like the hype. Mm-hmm. So. And moving to Minnesota was unexpected for me. Mm-hmm. And me finding the right people to do it with, I mean, it's, 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 it sounds crazy. Yeah. Like, you know, a lot of these guys have known each other their whole lives. Mm-hmm. These guys grew up together. Mm-hmm. I know I, I know you knew Kirby for a minute, but mm-hmm. for us to do this link up like this, man, it's, I know it's, it's, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, that's what's yeah. up. But how about you, Adif? I mean, coming, comparing, I mean, you've been in the business, in the restaurant industry, mm-hmm. comparing it with this, like, how has it been for you? I mean, no matter the industry, it's always hard. You know, uh, like AK said earlier, it's, it, this was not easy. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely a lot of obstacles but you got to take one day at a time yeah you know and then you'll notice a difference over time when you look back Mm -hmm. um but yeah just having a great team is also a very like you know important part of the process Mm -hmm. and you know pretty soon i've been talking to the guys we're gonna look for a spot number two yes once we get this up and running yeah inshallah definitely yes and how important is patience y'all like uh, you know know how many times kirby screamed at us (laughs) me and ak we're like we're like the jitterbugs we're like no we need to go get it we need to look for a shot we need to get this shot Mm -hmm. kirby's like yo chill man it'll come patience is crazy thing is i think over a year ago we're like yo we gotta open up in like three months (laughs) (laughs) and this this guy kirby he's like cool i mean i'm not trying to shoot the dream down Mm -hmm. but i don't see it Mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah and lo and behold you know here we are today but i'm glad you know yeah Yeah. process yeah patience uh compromise like all that and it's just like when you have to i think there's many things that 
I think like the 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 goal is patience because if you can see the patience through, then yeah. you ultimately get that a uh, feeling of mm -hmm. satisfactory. You know, when you wait for something, mm -hmm. but then the, then you want more. Yeah, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean. Like, exactly. it yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so I think being patient with that, knowing too, like you want more, but it's like you got to do the necessary steps and do it like right too. And I, I think it's like crazy because. Uh, what'd you say? Someone just hit you up that day. I was like, I remember when you had hype VA, no, and it was just like a dream, right? And exactly. it was like probably a lot of people shot that dream down, laughed at that shit. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. But it's like here we are. You know what I mean? Hype. You still yeah, not believing? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so. Yeah. The way I like to look at it is you gotta wake up and expect something to go wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And once you do that, yeah. You know, and, Big you, and you accept that it's part of the process, mm -hmm. and you know, it doesn't you know, it's, you're not gonna be as stressed and just you know face the problems every single day. Mm -hmm. just, don't expect you know to have a, a, a day that goes by that's just gonna be smooth because that's just not how they do it. Facts. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what that's I? That's true. You know what yeah, I like about Otis? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, hey, <laughs> since Otis has joined the business, we have dealt with so much shit. Yeah. But you know what? His demeanor never changed. I know. This guy never <laughs> so folds chill. at yeah. all. Let's be crazy. Hey, us three, man. <laughs> we've been. Hey, we've been up and down like a motherfucker. Because you know, I mean, I'm sure you guys yeah. all experience with business, but like you probably have a, you probably went through a lot, you know, getting yeah. with Nashville Coop and everything like that. Yeah. And so like you, that's why I said patience is so key because mm -hmm. it's gonna come no matter what, Absolutely. you know. And so you have to like go through it. And like you guys said, the team dynamic, like I really fuck with y'all, like <laughs> everyone on camera and off camera like you yeah. guys have such a supportive like team and that's really important so mm -hmm. shout out to you guys for like keeping that faith in mind and everything like that y'all came a long way oh you guys are so cute okay that's so <laughs> aside from business these guys are the funniest people i know <laughs> i know i could definitely hey, vouch for that for sure like yes. 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 wait for it you guys YouTube all have such different personalities and yeah. backgrounds and you guys each bring something to the table so that's really cool and that's important like i feel like it's good to have different minds is always going to make you help grow farther so oh, yeah. it's really nice uh, no i like that okay so you guys obviously came from like a online perspective and pop-up perspective i mean in a year from now inshallah i'm going to interview you guys again inshallah. and we're going to talk yeah. about how it's been and everything like that but i want to kind of know like what made you guys really like you guys talk about okay we need to it's time to open a store but like what made you guys shift from all right guys we're done with this pop-ups and like selling online we want a store what difference has that made for you guys i mean i can comment on we it. definitely want to stay online um for sure mm -hmm. we keep having the store aspect yeah important too. i feel like you know everybody sells sneakers mm -hmm. right but I think what sets us apart is we want to create a place for people to come. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to buy a sneaker. Come mm -hmm. just enjoy the sneakers with mm -hmm. us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Enjoy the vibe with us. We're trying to set a tone out here in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not always trying to take money out of your pocket. If you want to come here and mm -hmm. chop it up with us, mm -hmm. talk you can't about, spend debate. Some money though. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, we do need money. But I'm saying, <laughs> if you want to debate sneakers with us, we got time for it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we're here for it. Mm -hmm. And we just want a place where people could come mm -hmm. as sneakerheads, people that are in the streetwear, yeah. people that are in the sports, because we can debate that too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to the Wizards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, definitely. Also, like, I think for me, like, and we you've always spoke on this as well. Like, our envision was like, oh, we're gonna be like, we're gonna be on a block where we can like, you know, have like community based. Like, everybody's gonna throw block parties. You I know like what I mean? And, like, bring out a Nashville food truck. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Enjoy the actual area and stuff like that. So it's yeah. not that's only, so true. Uptown uh, is honestly yeah. the area, my yeah. favorite area. No. So we take it back really to block. You know, yes. another thing why we did it is because um, shout out. I think there's a lot of people out here that are doing it now. And so shout, shout out to them. But it's like we want to show people in our families, and our communities like uh, you can own a business, too, because I think before mm -hmm. they're, you know, like most of the things like we're predominantly Caucasian. Oh, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I think that's cool that they're doing that. They're serving their community. Mm -hmm. but we also want to serve our community. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? And I yeah. love how much more diverse this block is getting because it's, you're right. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot. It was very. Yeah. I know yeah. on the block. Yeah. All the different yeah. retail stores, the food stores. You guys have yeah. um, Urban Skillet down here. Oh, yeah. And so like it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's really it's dope. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and we want to really give it that like. You know, if you were in like LA or you on somewhere they got Melrose, like we want to give it that factor. Like you're on the Avenue, you know, mm -hmm. you're out here. That's you know, smart. doors is open in the summer, yeah. Yeah. No, that's what's so. up. And the foot traffic here is wild. It is. As soon as the sun came out a little bit, mm -hmm. we done seen crowds of people walking. I mean, even just tonight, like setting this up, people were peeking their head in, what's like peeking in? all that stuff. Exactly. Yeah. And so, no, that's what's up. I'm really excited for you guys. So Tell us about like we talked about the obstacles and everything like that. So what is gonna be the high peak for you guys for hype? Like what are you guys most excited about? 
And y'all want to get it? Man, I think just going back to what I was saying, like, what I'm most excited about is, like, for my people to walk up in the store, like, yeah. for my community and, like, to let them know, like, we're doing it, like, my mom and my dad, because it's, like, the family I come from is, like, they're, um, like, just really, in Minnesota, there's nobody that I can think that owns, like, a brick and mortar business. Mm -hmm. There's nobody that, you know what I mean? So that's, like, what I'm most excited about, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I already done had, like, some of my youth in here, like, painting walls, helping out, like, my little mm -hmm. brothers and things like that. So mm -hmm. I think, like, that's the most exciting part is, like, mm -hmm. giving them somewhere. Yeah, can we just like real? I didn't mean to cut you off, but like real quick, like talk about that. You guys are the ones who actually put Bless What and Tears into yeah. getting the shop open. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So like, you guys did not just hire people. Yeah. No. Uh, can you guys uh, talk about like how was that for you guys? Because a lot of people just hired. I mean, it was a lot of hell. Hey, if I can show you my the paint on my hands, yeah, I would. <laughs> I do not want to hear the word paint, paint oh, yeah. ever again. Ever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. Like we, we painted the whole shop, mm -hmm. everything talked about them, right? Yeah, we got done. We say we're not gonna paint again. Yeah, me and Otto look at each other. We're not painting again, <laughs> bro. Just two days ago, mm -hmm. we found out, man, we gotta paint this whole trim. <laughs> so it's a, it's it's still stuff we're gonna paint. We still I'm, paint it. We're growing. You're learning we're a growing. lot. I mean, I that sounds like, labor, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, exactly. I found yeah, out I was a handyman. We put him to work. Yep. Yeah, I was a handyman. We became handyman, yeah. mm -hmm. electricians. Yeah. Janitors. Painters. <laughs> Painters. What else, man? We did a lot. Carpentry. Yeah. It's Obviously, different. Gardeners, too. Oh, yeah? Gardeners. Hey, shout out to the new plants we brought in the shop. Yeah. Yeah. Positive energy. Yeah. 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 yeah, we made a lot of great memories, and we thought that would be important, you know, to just look back and like, yo, we really did that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was very special. No, that's what's up. It was but... a bonding experience as well. Yeah. Oh, no, that's what's up. Okay, so obviously you guys have like a lot of cool shoes. Um, Tell us, brag about it. Like I said, don't be humble. Like what's some of the best shoes that y'all have on stock right now that Jeez. people should look out for? One of these. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know I these ones, <laughs> by the way, these are all mine, y'all. I'm <laughs> buying them off the shelf today. Hey, these these are my favorite. They're not for sale no more. Hey, yeah. These, too, these really? are my favorite. I'm gonna have to take these for myself, for real. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay, so you guys have the off-white dunks. Are those the Travis Scott's that you just yeah, pointed Travis out? Scott. So yeah, what are like the most popular shoes like that people usually right? have? No, all the girls want dunks. Dunks, dunks, dunks. dunks. Everyone is true. Want dunks. That so is much. true. <laughs> and you guys have different like Yeezys yeah, yeah, and yeah, slides yeah. and everything like that. This wants to be Yeezy season, spring season, yeah. Yeezy season. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Get your yeah. slides. Sponsored by Yeezy. <laughs> me, my personally though, it's not even for sneakers. For mm -hmm. me, I like a lot of the like the little knickknacks too that we have. Like mm -hmm. you'll catch like little beanies, like you know, it's still spring, mm -hmm. you know, it's still a little chilly out yeah. here. So we got the hype beanies hype. coming in. Get too. your hype merch, um, y'all. That yeah, so, yeah, our yeah. assistant sold by hand. Yeah. yeah. You feel oh, me? Okay. Shout, out to, mm -hmm. shout out to my sister Amira. Yeah. Ah, ah. And we got <laughs> merch dropping with the store opening as well. So, so Absolutely. Absolutely. look out for that. Yeah. So but like yeah, like some of the merch stuff too, like it's heat. Mm -hmm. We got some heaters. It's not only we're diverse. We got we, we got clothes, beanies, mm -hmm. yep. socks, supreme socks, like so yeah, we'll we'll be around. Okay. We'll, that's what's up. To have a bunch of different brands in here too, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, the, the spotlight. Yep, well. yep. So yeah. I was yeah. gonna yeah talk about that. So if there's a brand that's interested in being a spotlight of the month, how can they contact you guys, and how are you gonna go about it? Slide in our DMs. Really? Yeah. Oh man. Hey, really? Yeah. Slide in our DMs. Okay. We're gonna reach out to some brands too. We have no problem reaching out to local brands. Okay. If we think your your yeah. shit is fire, mm -hmm. we're definitely gonna reach out. But if we if we're not privy to it. Mm -hmm. No, feel free to reach out. Yeah, let us know right. too, and yeah, we can always work something out. We want them to like start off like by just giving someone like you know even just by maybe starting off by throwing a pop up. Yeah. And if that works well, then we'll take it a step further. And so we're gonna I work like out that. the details, but yeah, definitely. Uh, we we know some brands out there, so and yeah. feel free to reach out to us because I know how, so many times like I got a clothing brand like I couldn't even imagine like asking someone to put my clothes in their store. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's at that point because it's like so nerve wracking. Like are they gonna say yes or say no? So just. Just talk to us and we'll make something happen. I like that. Yeah. And we'll link on our page um, their web or their Instagram. Do you guys yeah. have a website? Coming soon. Coming, soon. Coming soon. Okay, so hopefully. Still loading. Yeah, whenever it's ready, we'll link that on there as well. Um, yeah. When are you guys opening? That's the big question. Yeah. <laughs> should, we right? hmm? should we drop a date? Should we drop a date? I mean, like an estimate. Like, when should we, when are the doors open? Hey, all I want to <laughs> hey, all I want to say is look at on the Instagram. It's real soon. Okay. Real soon. Yeah. The store is done. Okay. Store's done. For look sure. At this place. Yeah. I know, right? Like, yeah. seriously, look at it. Open tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not to open. I know I'm not going to open. I have a t shirt that says we, we open, open today. We've been waiting to open. Open tonight. 
Yeah, no. That's insane. He said real. that every day. We got videos. We that's me. Hey, look out for TikTok. You. Saying we open tomorrow. Look yeah. out for the TikTok. Yeah. No, nah, I must look. We'll, we'll definitely be. We'll be open fairly soon. Yeah, yeah. Fairly yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> hey, really, I want to be open right now. Honestly. No, you guys are gonna be open. It's well, gonna be start, on the phone. We're gonna start shopping right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll be mean, too. You guys hey, could. Yeah. One thing we didn't. Touch you need on some it. shoes. You say, yeah. You got the off I already. I do. I want. So we're gonna talk about it on camera. There's a lot of shoes. Talk about it on camera. A lot of shoes here that caught my eye. Oh, yeah. First of all, y'all, they owe me a couple of shoes for free. I'm not even. Hey, hey. <laughs> so you I'm gonna be too. walking around picking yeah. up shoes from the shelf. We got you. We got you. We got you. Um, so you know we could go on about this forever. And like I said, I really want to see the progress. I always tell people, Gilbert and I always tell people, like we want to see them back for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but what's one last piece of advice that you have to give to the community? Any last words that you want to say? Um, either regarding your self progress or the hype or whatever. So um, let's start with you, Adam. Believe in yourself, you know. Um, yeah. You, if, if you don't believe in yourself, then nobody will. You know? Yeah. Just thinking that you can do something, uh, you know, it's really special. And just you know, not giving up, taking things one day at a time. That's very important, you know. And just like you know, look at the long term. You know, look for self growth. And yeah. I like that. I like Thanks. that a lot. Yeah, um, you took mine. So I'll go with a uh, dream. Uh, never forget the dream because I think so many times we get consumed in our nine to five or our daily lives. And we're like, how can I make time for that? But I think if you just like uh, dream all the time and like, even if you give it one hour a day, you know, um, you'll, you'll see the progress. You'll see where you end up. And I think uh, we all we always think that we're going to like, we, we thought we were going to be open last year. Yeah, they, they three did. months. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, I'm like the pandemic. Yeah. pandemic. Oh, hey, yeah. Yeah. But we're here though. Yeah. But nonetheless, that's you know, all that matters. Yeah. Exactly. So mm-hmm. that's it. Keep on dreaming. Keep on, you know, believing, achieving. Yeah. Don't give up on your dreams. Yeah. yeah. I would say for me, it's really uh, don't be afraid to, I guess, like have that conversation with others and friends and family and and um, help them also motivate you to like do this because like. In the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah, can I do it? Can I not? So it's like with seeing Kirby have, you know, Kirby and, and my cousin Ayan like do, you know, Central and like seeing my cousin Adif, you know, mm-hmm. get three food trucks, you know, restaurants out the Wuza in the city. So mm-hmm. um, just things like that, like not being afraid to like have those conversations with, you know, people who are also doing their thing and, and seeing um, where it takes you. I mm-hmm. think for me, that's what. That's what helped me not push me. I like that. That's like important. That. You know, going last, you guys have took everything. But one thing I want to say after looking at these guys, you can't do everything by yourself. True. Mm. You cannot do everything by yourself. Mm-hmm. My thing is, if you don't got a team, you're not doing it right. So mm-hmm. and if you don't got the right people trying to influence you to do the right things, like he said, mm-hmm. you're not going to ever get nowhere. So mm-hmm. don't be scared to ask questions. Mm-hmm. Don't be scared to ask for help. Don't be scared to build a team. Mm-hmm. Not, there's a lot of things that you know, I don't do personally, but I might delegate to these guys and they mm-hmm. might delegate to me. Mm-hmm. And without these guys, we couldn't get the job done. Yeah. I don't see this happening by myself. Absolutely. You know, yeah. and I wouldn't rather do it with anybody else. So mm-hmm. shout out to the guys for sure. Yeah. yeah. So you might have to branch out to new people like AK saying like, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, and we did that. And you know, we're all like-minded. So that's why mm-hmm. it works. So mm-hmm. don't be afraid to, if it ain't in your circle, find a new circle that's gonna True. do something for you. Yeah, that has the same the passion. Yeah, <laughs> great way to end it, you guys. Wait, Ow. before we wrap it up, though, go we, got, we got you guys a little something. Oh, go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and grab that. Y'all. Some unreleased, some hype beanies. Uh, uh, uh. I might wear It's kind of cold in here, you guys. Yes. I, you know, um, <laughs> I might uh, wear this right now. Yes. Yes. Hey, yes. And one for the cameraman as well, man. Shout Thank out to you. The guy Shout the out to Tim, definitely. Yeah. Thank go, you, guys. Yeah. I have a hype hoodie. Through. I couldn't find it. I think my brother stole it low key. Oh, but no worries. I'm gonna, Come uh, hey, more hype hoodies, more hype tees. No, I love she it. Lost, she lost the merch. Listen, no, I didn't. He did too, you guys. So um, I asked him if he's going to wear it. He said, I can't find it. So it's not just me. Oh, he's it's, not just me. <laughs> it's not just me. It's not just me. He don't even know where his hype is. I end up saying he's the whole owner. Put me on blast. Hey, edit that out. Edit that out. <laughs> no, but you guys, I really just want to say um, from my own perspective, me speaking as you said, I'm so proud of you guys, honestly. This is amazing to see. Um, I know this is not easy coming you know also for like a business owner aspect or just in general um i've been watching you guys like you know do this since the beginning and it's amazing i'm so happy you guys didn't give up and everything from like the brand to help your people eat 
to like I said, the team dynamic, to the family, and just the way you guys are all like minded individuals. And even though you guys are so different, I don't know if you guys know, but like you guys are, you guys are just an amazing structure. Like you guys should be so proud of yourself. Appreciate that. Appreciate it's that. never gonna be easy. This is just the beginning. There's gonna be more obstacles to come, but at the end of the day, just like don't give up, you know. And it's it's gonna be amazing and so you guys look out for hype uptown oh, we're gonna drop the address and you. everything like that i'm so glad that you guys invited tim and i into your store i think this is just much more yep. i feel it more it's yeah. better than being in the studio yeah. like this is like i know yeah. like i love it like yeah. i love it yeah. it's hey, amazing you yeah. came a long way yourself too though oh, yeah. thank you thank you hey this ain't about me let's not start so <laughs> next time though, yeah. yeah so we'll like i said you next time how about Go yeah, ahead. Like we that. were I literally like just talking about, you know, like forget just like eat and talk, but like yeah. you guys have a space for um multi black media to mm -hmm. come in, you know, and so oh, that's yeah. really cool. You guys can have so many podcast episodes, so many black news stations oh. come in here. Like this is a really nice highlighted area. Like so y'all could do a lot with yeah. help your people okay. eat because y'all be helping people eat. Okay. So um Let's go. I'll be the volunteer brand uh, ambassador, whatever uh, y'all yeah. like me we to do. Talk about open and today, so. Oh, sure. Oh, Get it in mother the shoe. <laughs> Yo, I swear you guys can have a help your people eat in like mother the shoe. It's, it's going to be a non-profit though. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> No, I love it. Thank you guys so much. And like I said, we love to um, have people back. I mean, Kirby, you're yeah. back already. So uh -huh. that's really cool. Um, yeah. We'll see you guys again Thanks soon. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for having us, man. Eat and talk. We're out. <laughs>